into a studio vlog. Today I'm working on a drawing. I sketched this a few nights ago and I've been really pumped to like get it done. I was working on my other big painting when I sketched it so I had to wait. So I've basically just been waiting for a free day where I can start it and I'm technically not free today. I have to do some other filming but that's fine. I'm going to do that in a minute. I don't know if I'm going to get it done today but we'll see how it goes and it'll definitely be done in this video but I'm going to do my best. What I tend to do is I do the majority of the work on camera and then I take it off and do all the finicky details off of camera because I like to get like really close to it. Anyway, I don't have much else to say right now. Just wanted to pop in and say hello and introduce the vlog and just kind of explain what I'm doing. I mean, it's just, I'm just drawing a piece for Bosco Pens. Fruit girl. Anyway, I hope you are doing well. I'm doing okay. Things are kind of the same. <laughs> and i think we're going to say thank you to skillshare now so i'm pretty sure you already know what skillshare is they are an online learning community filled to the brim with educational videos tutorials or projects for you to get involved with and either build on an existing skill or learn something entirely new whether you're trying to start a business or just pick up a hobby skillshare will most likely have a class catered exactly to that my class of choice this month was Colour Grading for Filmmaking, The Vision, Art and Science by Dan Dan Liu, or Liu, who is a filmmaker and clearly very passionate about what she does. She splits up the process of colour grading and makes it a lot easier to take in. I'm not a filmmaker, I'm learning as I go and I'd love to just be a bit better at making my videos look nice. <laughs> This class might not be relevant to a lot of you, but I'd recommend it if you also make YouTube videos or you're a filmmaker of some sort and you don't really know what you're doing, uh, like me. Um, if you're not, I'm sure that you have a passion. I'm guessing it's art or something along those lines since you watch my videos. Go and check out the huge range of art classes Skillshare has. Procreate, watercolor, Photoshop, whatever it is you do, uh, it's always valuable to know a bit more about it. Click the link in my description to get yourself a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Once that membership is up, it's less than $10 a month for an annual membership, which I think is really worth it. It's a great price. Um, and thank you so much to Skillshare as always. And now back to me with a face. Just filmed my cheeky voiceover for my last video. I don't know if I should edit now or I think I'm going to continue drawing for a bit because I'm really enjoying how this piece is coming and like I said I was really excited to work on it so I think I'm just going to work on it for a bit longer. Currently listening to The Office Ladies podcast by Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey. Uh, if you've watched The Office you will know and they basically just go through and re-watch The Office episodes and talk about them and give us like more info behind the scenes and um, fast facts and stuff. But I've been really enjoying it. I'm a huge, massive humongous fan of The Office uh, and I don't know why I haven't listened to it yet actually so if you're a fan of The Office US version I would uh, listen to that they're quite long but totally worth it anyway let's draw
back inside because of bugs. There are just wasps, hornets and bees everywhere and you know, I'm fine with the bees doing their thing. But why do wasps and hornets need to terrorise me? The other day actually, I had a, a hornet, baby hornet, it wasn't huge, it was like a big wasp come into my bedroom and it disappeared and I couldn't find it anywhere, it was really freaky. Kind of just had to give up and go to bed and then the next morning it came out so I shared a bedroom with a hornet all night. It just flew out the window, all good, but I was terrified of hearing that buzzing throughout the night. <laughs> Makeup list today because I've got a swollen eye and I don't really know what's wrong with it. It's a lot better today. It was like huge yesterday, but it's okay now. Um, so I'm not putting any makeup on just to minimize any chance of it getting worse. So we love that. Pretty sure I'm fine, but it's a little bit annoying to be honest. Today is Sunday, 18th. I've been mostly chilling. I've been using it as a Sunday, uh, but since I'm gonna have like a whole week off, maybe more, I don't really know. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of work on Tuesday, but that's fine. But I've decided today that instead of having a full day off, I'm gonna get up and do some stuff. So I've been looking into ordering my new products, seeing how much that's gonna cost me and everything, and a little bit of doodling. I have an idea for a new sticker, but I'm the sketching isn't going too well. I'm getting there. Every time I sketch it, I prefer it, so we'll see. Hopefully I can figure something out on along that front and I'll show you if that happens. If it doesn't, I'll show you anyway. <laughs> I've done a little bit of cleaning and tidying and I think I'm just gonna do a little bit more of that. Um, I tend to do my tidying and cleaning on a Sunday. I'm not really sure why, it just feels like, a <coughs> feels like a good day to do it. I'm gonna go put a wash on, put my other washing away, eat my melon. If anyone's wondering, my jumper, which I'm in love with, this is a recent purchase. This is originally from Monkey, M-O-N-K-I, but I found it on Depop. I didn't even know it was from Monkey until I bought it. it. Cost me like a tenner or something. It's so thick, it's so warm. I know it's spring, but in the UK it's still quite cold. So I'm still I'm still good to wear it. <laughs> so yeah, if anyone was wondering, it is a full size jumper, but I've just got it tucked into my Levi's. Yeah, also these Levi's were a thrift find. I think I paid five pounds for them. Great find. <laughs> a couple years back that was. April 20th today, 420. Mm -hmm. Today is gonna be my last work day for a while before I take my break for my birthday. <sighs> it's hot today. So I'm just getting some last minute things done. I will be closing my shop later on this evening. Just been preparing my sponsorship this morning and filming that and I had to take some pictures, some story pictures and I've been taking pictures of the new canvas trying to figure out the best way to photograph it really. That's what I'm gonna be doing next. I'm gonna go through my pictures, see if I got any decent shots, do some editing. Might do a little bit more work on my canvas later. I've been working a little bit more on it without filming it just because, because this is supposed to be like a vlog so I don't want half the video to be a single canvas. So I might film like the last details and then show you it all together or I might just finish it off camera and then be like, it's done. So I might do a little bit of that today, we'll see. But I'm gonna do the picture stuff because that needs to be done. Tomorrow I'm going out for the first time in a long time since I went Christmas shopping. I'm going to town. I'm gonna go to my favorite secondhand furniture shop and go to the charity shops again. Not the best charity shops, but you never know, they might have some good stuff. And I'm gonna go to McDonald's. I haven't had McDonald's since it's been like over a year since I went to a McDonald's, I think. I had a friend drop me off to a McDonald's a few weeks ago, but I only had chips anyway, so I'm very excited. 
this is really random but when i'm at mcdonald's i i'm a vegetarian so i don't eat the, the meat obviously and i i'm not a fan of the fake veggie stuff with the like it's just like mushed up vegetables i'm not a fan of that so what i do is i get a hamburger remove the patty extra pickles and then i will put chips in it so i have like a chip buddy and it satisfies all my mcdonald's cravings so it's a good time anyway i'm excited about that then on thursday i'm gonna see my sister probably and then on friday and Saturday I'll be seeing some friends which would be nice we're gonna go to the pub the pub what is happening I am kind of anxious for the world to start happening again but I'm also quite excited to just like be outside with my friends and have some drinks and if the weather stays like this it'll be really nice it'll be on my birthday because my birthday is on Saturday and yeah I think it'll be a bit nicer than last year I don't know if you remember me saying but I had to cancel my plans last year obviously because we went into lockdown just before my birthday and this is the first time I've really properly planned to do anything since then so yeah it's gonna be fun anyway I'm gonna stop rambling and get on with the video editing no the picture editing and I might see you in a bit we'll see Here she is all finished. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I only had to draw her face once, which is quite rare for me. Very happy about that. This piece literally just came from this tiny doodle I made in my sketchbook one night when I was really, really lost for ideas and I just thought it was pretty cute. And I refined it a little and put it onto a canvas. When she was done, I started to scan her and tweak her in Photoshop. And here is the final scanned image. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching me draw her and I'll speak to you soon. today may the force be with you it's been a little while over a week for sure since i last spoke to a camera i just thought i'd come in at the end of the video here and update you on the last week uh since i didn't film really anything i had a really lovely birthday just chilled for most of the day and then in the evening i went to my friends for a little barbecue it was really nice uh didn't end up going to that pub in the end we just kind of hung out in the park after we'd eaten which was really nice and this is the only clip I filmed really. Uh, this is my boyfriend and our mate playing in the park. <laughs> Big kids. On Monday, I did go to a pub. Actually, I popped down to my local 
um, with my friend who hosted the queue, the barbecue. It had been renovated since the last time I'd been there because it had been bought by new owners. Uh, I haven't been in like a couple years now probably, uh, but it was really nice. The garden was funky. It was a really nice day. We caught the weather just before it was like raining all week. So, so the next day on Tuesday I woke up with a horrible toothache woke me up at like 5am took some painkillers went back to sleep and it wasn't really any better when I woke up I basically just like nursed my face and myself for three days before I called the doctors I called the doctors instead of the dentist for two reasons it wasn't really my tooth like I've had problems with my teeth before and it wasn't like a tooth pain it was a gum thing but like kind of like behind the gum almost like in my throat and my ear so I thought I would go to the doctors first because I hate the dentist. <laughs> so they had me in that same day. I went in, the doctor looked in my mouth and my ear and everything. And then she got another doctor in just to make sure that it like wasn't my ear. And they were like, yeah, no, you need to go to the dentist. <laughs> and I was like, no. So I booked an appointment, went to the dentist on the Saturday. It was a really quick and simple appointment. Um, he basically just prescribed me some antibiotics, which was great. That's all I wanted, really. <laughs> so I got those and I'm feeling pretty much better. Uh, I've got two days left of the antibiotics to take, including today, so yay. Basically, I had an infection around my wisdom tooth. Um, obviously, this isn't a permanent fix. I'll have to figure out a long-term fix for that another time, but I don't have to worry about that right now, so I'm just not going to. <laughs> that was... Oh my I've had tooth problems in the past, like I said, but that was like the worst, the worst pain I've had. I couldn't eat solid food. I was living on like cereal and bananas and homemade soup, which I'm not complaining about, but just so, so happy to be able to eat pizza again, to be honest. That's all I wanted all week was just pizza. I couldn't have it. But anyways, I just thought I'd let you know how my week has been. I've also been working on my website. I've decided to build a new one. Um, anyone who's seen my website knows I don't use it just don't, don't really like it, so I don't really use it. Um, I really want a place to showcase my work that I'm like regular on and I care about. I also plan to leave Etsy eventually, um, maybe this year I'm hoping. Etsy are really good because they can help you get your store out there and generate sales for you and they do all the like the advertising and stuff for you and I generate my own sales mostly, I really don't make many sales through Etsy alone and yet yeah, I'm paying them like all these fees and everything to do nothing basically um, and it was great at the beginning because like I said it's very automatic and it help it really helps you understand what you're doing and now I know what I'm doing I feel like I can move over to my own shop where like everything will be in one place and so my website my shop and everything the shop will definitely take time to transfer over and I'm not doing that now I'm just working on the website portion at the moment I'm really liking how it looks so far I've been creating some like little images um, to use on there, can't remember the word, assets maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> that's been really fun, having something to draw that's not been like, there's no pressure involved really. So yeah, uh, the website isn't live yet, but I will, I'll link it in the description in future vids like when it is. So yeah, that's sort of all. Um, I've still been working on like making new products. It sounds like I'm making loads, I'm not. I think I'm gonna make four maybe new things, we'll see how it goes. I still haven't even ordered the products yet. I'm kind of really procrastinating my shop reopen. I think I just need some time to just not do shop stuff. Um, but it's still the first week of May, there's still time. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be all good. Still no date for the shop open yet. Like I said, I'll just keep you updated on that. Sorry about that. Um, just going with the flow, taking it easy at the moment. So yeah, um, also my, my mum and my sister bought me some punch needle stuff my birthday so I'm gonna do that in a video at some point I'm really excited to give that a go um I've just I'm obsessed with it everyone's so into it right now and I've just I'm obsessed as everyone else I'm on I've, I've hopped on the trend I'm gonna do some punch needling I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and yeah I think that's all the kind of updates I have for you I think I'm gonna end the video here now it's probably quite long um I hope you enjoyed it it was kind of worky kind of not I've had some time off so that's just kind of how it is anyway Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring. And I'm gonna go now. How cute is this mirror that my friend bought me for my birthday, by the way? Also, it jingles. Anyway, see you later.